Hi guys, it's Kasha. Welcome to the channel to my wonderland. It is a coffee time and today we have top 5 Wednesdays. If you want to follow top 5 Wednesdays, there is a Goodreads group and I'm gonna leave the link down below for you guys. So today's topic, it is redemption arcs. And if I understood this right, because I am a newbie to the booktube community, so I had to do some research here. If I understood this right, a redemption arc is a book that contains a character that you changed your mind about, and most probably you went from not liking him to liking the character. I don't know, maybe I'm totally wrong. Let me know down below if I understood the concept correctly. Because if not, it's gonna be very embarrassing. But anyways, let's assume that I understood it correctly, and let's do our top five. First we have a classic and that is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. I think everybody knows the plot by now but it is like a very grumpy old man that hates Christmas and he gets the visit of a couple of ghosts that makes him see life in a different way and he ends up changing a little bit you know his behavior and his image of the world and the way he is towards others. It is a very cute story I really enjoyed it and it is very short so if anybody of you have not read it yet you can go ahead and read it this Christmas because it is a it is a really cool story in the end. Then we have Veronica Decides to Die by Paolo Coelho and I don't have a physical copy with me right now but it is basically the story of Veronica and she decides one day that she wants to take her life and she takes a lot of pills. However things don't go as planned because they find her and they save her and they bring her to a mental illness facility. At this point you don't like Veronica because of her vision of life and that nothing matters and everything sucks and you're not really you know connecting with her you're at this point disliking her for being so selfish and wanting to take her life for stupid reasons when she gets into the mental facility she's actually happy that she gets the chance to still live her life and she's happy that she didn't die so this is how the book starts and then we get to know veronica better and we get to experience a lot of things with her and you end up really loving the character so it is another good example of a story where a character did something bad but then made up for it. Then we have the story of Jane Eyre and this is definitely a character that goes through a lot. And she begins being an orphan and she's with a family where she's not really being treated properly and she ends up in an orphanage and then there is an outbreak there of a sickness and then she ends up moving somewhere else and she's always being like pushed back and forth that's the feeling that I had with the book she's always being pushed from here to there she's never had like a proper home she ends up moving to Thornfield and she gets to know Mr. Rochester and she falls in love with him and she wants to marry him but it turns out that he's already married to somebody else so at this point you don't like Rochester because he's not being a nice person he lied to her and he knows that she's been through a lot and that's not cool man but then towards the end of the book your image of Mr. Rochester changes and you end up feeling for him at least that is the feeling that I had and I ended up caring for him even though at the beginning I was not happy with him so that's why the book is on this list then we have Scarlet by Marissa Meyer and when I started reading this book I have to say I was not 100% with the relationship between Scarlet and Wolf and um, if you don't know the Lunar Chronicles are like fairy tales uh, retellings and this is the second book and it is based on Little Red Riding Hood and Scarlet would be Little Red Riding Hood in this story so of course she meets a guy that it's called Wolf and it is a character that you are always doubting if he is good or is bad and what his real intentions are and it's like a roller coaster with him you know and of course after reading the whole series i have another perspective on the character than i had at the beginning but at the beginning this character was one of those that we didn't know if he was good if he was bad and we were always questioning his decisions and last we have Carabao by Stephanie Garber. Now this book is really hyped in the booktube community so when I went into it maybe my expectations were too high because I didn't love it as much as I thought I was gonna love it but I did love the character of Julian and I really loved his you know evolution throughout the book and Julian is a character that we got first to know as a regular sailor that is just going to help out our girls but this character is also one of those that is a roller coaster with them like one minute you think they're good one minute you think they're bad 
you're always questioning what they're saying what they're doing and expecting something to happen and that is one of the best things of Caraval that with some characters you were not 100% sure what their intentions were, if they were good or if they were bad. You didn't know if you could trust them or not. Alright you guys, so these were my 5 redemption arcs for today. Let me know down below if you have other books that I should read with really cool redemption arcs. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all my other social media is listed down below. And I hope to see you guys in the next coffee time. Bye!